In this lesson, we'll look at how to implement controller methods using CRUD operations. In a type of RAM application, entity objects hold data and entity manager provides basic CRUD database operations. But it's the controllers that bring everything together. As an example, let's explore the vehicle controller. The vehicle controller class has several methods, each corresponding to a specific REST API request. For example, show a list of all vehicles or add a vehicle. Let's start by looking at the simplest method in the vehicle controller, the method that fetches the details for one specific vehicle. The request routed from the front end will contain a vehicle ID so that the entity manager will attempt to fetch the corresponding record in the database. The find one or fail method will return a vehicle entity object or throw an error if the record is not found. Then the vehicle entity is serialized to JSON and sent back to the front end. If something went wrong along the way, we print an error message and send an error response code to the front end, which will handle it appropriately. So that's a pretty simple operation. Let's look at one that is slightly more involved. Check out. This is the method that is called when a user starts a ride on a particular vehicle. There is something different here. Notice that we use the transaction method of the entity manager and performed all the database operations in a callback function. Think about it. To check out a vehicle, we have to first locate the record in the database, if it exists, then flip the unused flag, and then write the entity back to the database. But what if the vehicle information is modified or the vehicle is deleted by another user in the time between these operations? Wrapping all of the operations in a single transaction ensures that no other writes can affect the state of the table before all the operations finish executing. This is possible because CockroachDB provides the highest transaction isolation level possible, serializable, which means that even though transactions may execute in parallel, the result is the same as if they all executed one at a time. No concurrent writes can affect the transaction and no concurrent reads can be affected by the transaction until it's successfully committed. Let's review. In Mover, controller methods manage all database operations and transactions while depending on the entity manager for handling low-level CRUD operations. Controller methods correspond to API requests and use transactions to perform several operations at once by utilizing CockroachDB serializable isolation. Now head to the labs and try implementing controller methods yourselves.